Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one, the only, Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose <laughs> Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that oh. beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. And now our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. At the weight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar, Sean O'Malley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side of this guy who can really do that. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And he landed the right hand there. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Aldo. Nice leg kick. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by O'Malley. His inside leg kick is there. Just over three minutes to go. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice strike. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Aldo. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just out of range with that left hook. Kick, kick lands. And a 
miss with the right hook. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. defensively there by Aldo. Slips. Lands a big elbow there. He got him. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, straight right. Punches one. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Stay committed to doing damage upstairs and landing a seminal blow. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. Now he gets back to range. O'Malley's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Now counters with a hook to the body. Strong work on the feet by Aldo. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great. A huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Aldo goes. Huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Now connects with a right. Job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. And they both stand up. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That's a great job. Goes down again. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Slips. Good punches he's thrown on them. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Nice punch there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh. Got clip with the right hand. 
What a fight so far. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs. Oh! Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Outstanding kick there by Aldo. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch by Aldo. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice no, offense from the bottom. Choke here. now and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half court. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, my right hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. Oh. Oh, straight right. Well, don't leave it in the judges' hands. A little bit easier said than done. Competitive, close fight. You got to lean either way. I mean, it is horrible when you walk back to the center of the octagon not knowing exactly who won the fight. I thought he won a lot of the striking exchanges, but... It wasn't very clear, so it'll be interesting to see who gets the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' four cards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Jose!